and me and Toto here. This video was made in July 4th weekend, 2016, uh, right like a couple days before my dad died. And the guitar I'm playing is a white PV Falcon that I got scammed out of by, well, a friend over in England. At least he paid the shipping for the guitar, but I got promised a whole bunch of stuff that I never got, but that's it. But. All right. Enjoy the video. Okay, well, isn't this a problem? I don't know if you can see that. There is, the strings are all covered from one end to the other. Craps on the nut, on the locking nut, on the ends of the tuning pegs. It's this damn foam inside this 30 year old PV case finally started to break down and stick to my white falcon just like the one Scott Grove showed I put these strings on here a while back and put this guitar in the case after I did a fret dress and now I got just a huge mess even the frets are coated with this crap Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is, uh, oh, disappointing indeed. Okay, well, I've got a Red Falcon. It's Fourth of July celebration that we're playing tonight. Maybe, uh, with any luck, The Red Falcon doesn't have any problems, but I need to pull this thing out of the case and at least get the strings off of it and try to clear some of that crap off the frets. Oh boy. Surprise! <laughs>
for uh, steel wool. I managed to get most of that. Well, I got that gunk off there. What a mess. That's that's the original case. So you lose that. I used some of this uh, Dunlop Ultra Glide 65 String Cleaner and Conditioner Tone Improver. This also might improve the tone of the strings when I put, but I haven't put it on the strings yet. Ha ha ha. You know, none of my guitars are uh, show pieces. They all get played at one time or another, you know, and I, on the holidays, the 4th of July, Christmas, I like to pull out a red one or a white one or something. Hey, I've got an Arctic White Tully. I put strings on. Well, anyway, there's hope. I still got an hour and a half before I have to leave. I'm going to put a set of strings on this and string it up and give it a little test run. You see how we make out. I smell a wet dog. It's been raining a lot here in Ohio, and the dog goes out and digs holes and comes in full of mud, and then he has to have a bath, and then he smells like a wet dog. Yeah, there went the cap. Great. Okay, well, back shortly. Okay, this is a little song by Dire Straits.
got it cleaned up, restrung. Uh, knob sounds good. <laughs> for it yet I gotta find the whammy bar another falcon sitting back there great right here there 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 there's that one there's that one I got a red one too all right well it's off to the fourth of July festival at Conneaut film at eleven Daryl and Cheryl here went to high school, graduated with two of the guys that were on the boat. And another friend of ours, the brother of Mark Allen, the radio DJ, Gary, actually drove Paul Ripa to Har Fairport Harbor to get on the Edmund Fitzgerald, and he never came back. And there was also another fellow from Ashtabula that was on the boat. And uh, everybody knows about the Arthur M. Anderson being stranded in the ice out here in the harbor in Conneaut this winter and what they had to do to try to help those guys out. Well, the, what I was told by a guy who worked on the lakes was that boat was the last boat to have radio contact with the Edmund Fitzgerald before it went down. So I don't know if that was the boat that came in behind it or not, but they had to be close. They, asked, they actually asked Anderson to go back out and look for the Fitzgerald. They asked them to go out and look for it, so this is our tribute to them. Never give
What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Research, click on a cop. She's gonna be here in about 20 minutes. All right, stop, 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 stop.